Hello everyone, we're now going to do um, the second lesson on the nine fruits of the spirit in gentleness. If you have not seen the first part, um, I have it in my group on Facebook, God's Unfolding Ministry. And this is by Robert Strand. <coughs> gentleness is not being a wimp. We are not a wimp when we're going to be gentle towards others. The person who has been readily gentled by God, who is in the image of God in meekness, it is the person what is directed by God. The goal in this study is to allow the Spirit of God to work in our inner character, conforming to the image of the Holy Spirit, all aspects of our life, including gentleness and meekness. Our first study set the record straight. Gentleness is not being confused with weakness. And uh, when we read again the account of the triumphant entry into Jerusalem on the day we call Palm Sunday, Matthew 21, 1 through 17. <clears throat> and that would be the scripture reading that all of you can read. <clears throat> and that was Jesus' triumphant um, entry into Jerusalem. <clears throat> so um, I'm going to ask some questions and you can ponder on those and look them up when you read the scripture. It's always good to dive into the scripture on our own and not just have everybody else read it and do it for us. Amen. <clears throat> so um, I'll read some questions for you and um, you can write notes and learn right along with all the rest of us. So why is it that many of us tend to equate a gentle person with being a weak person? Hmm. What was the impact that the events of the they had on the people with the people of Jerusalem? Okay, so what impact that the events of this had on the people of Jerusalem? And all the people had gathered in Jerusalem. There was an event that was going on, and they knew that Jesus was coming. <clears throat> And so how did that impact the people that were there? And there was different people that believed. And, um, and read the account of when Jesus entered Jerusalem. And you will surely see what had happened. <clears throat> so um, how is the gentleness of Jesus shown in this event? What is the significance of the usage of palm Sunday, okay? <clears throat> now, I know it's not Palm Sunday probably when you're listening to this, but what was this, the usage of the palm branches at, as he entered Jerusalem? So when Jesus was coming into Jerusalem on a donkey, they were laying palm branches, all right? So what was the significance of the usage of that? Name the specific Old Testament prophet who spoke what is written in verse 5, about Jesus' entry into Zion. Okay, so here are some questions after you read the portion of scripture that was um, mentioned, and um, you can write some notes about that. So we all maybe all grow in God's goodness. <clears throat> Why were the crowds so happy to welcome Christ on Palm Sunday and ready to crucify him? On the following Friday. Mm. What were the. What was the motive. Behind the sudden change. As noted in verses 12 and 13. <clears throat> so one day they're saying Hosanna in the highest. And then it wasn't long after that. They said crucify him. Many, a popular word picture of Jesus presents him as being meek and mild. How and why do the actions of Jesus differ from this picture? In the midst of drastic actions, how is the gentleness of Jesus still demonstrated? Okay, so here he is 
hearing all these people saying Hosanna, and then the next time they're saying crucify him. And he still displayed gentleness. Contrary, um, the reactions, the common people, well, let me read that again. Okay, contrast the reactions of the common people to that <clears throat> of the other, of the priests and the teachers of the law. So the people were one way and the priests were another way. So contrast the reactions of that. And why were they so indignant? Hmm. What are the <clears throat> reasons, what are the lessons on gentleness that you have learned through this biblical passage that we are reading in Matthew? Can you think of life situations when the kind of firm, tough love in this section is more appropriate than a soft, quiet, gentle approach? Sometimes we have to practice tough love and sometimes a gentle approach. So our assignment, and I know I kind of read this slowly, and hopefully that you heard me and I ask that... Uh, <coughs> The Lord touch you and teach you by his Holy Spirit, by gentleness. <clears throat> so, the assignment of the days ahead. What steps are you going to take to achieve gentleness in this week? And um, that we won't be thinking of it as being weak. What person or persons in your life are you in need of practicing tough love but also demonstrating gentleness at the same time how will you put this into action in any situation that you're in whether it be work school home or any other kinds of relationships so <clears throat> i'm sorry for how my voice is right now but um, i ask that the holy spirit would teach you and draw you closer to him and practice gentleness because that is a fruit of the spirit. So I God bless all of you and thank you for listening. And I encourage you to um, ask the Lord to help you with goodness. God bless.